Been using Joss. So we have a page directory, which, of course, as we know, points to a bunch of page tables. However, these are all physical addresses that we have. So CR3 contains the physical address of the page directory, which makes sense. I mean, if it were a virtual address, then how would it find the physical address? Because it'd have to use the page directory, so it would get to the page directory and so on. So we'd have this infinite regress, kind of turtles all the way down. So this is a physical address that points to here, and these are all physical addresses. But as we're using the kernel, often it would be handy if we had virtual addresses. So it'd be nice if we'd have a virtual address that referred to the page directory. And it would also be nice if we had a virtual address for the page tables. Um, and while we're at it, it'd really be handy if we could somehow have these virtual, uh, these page tables consecutive in memory, at least in virtual space. So these are all physical. What we'd like to have is the page tables all in some linear, consecutive, contiguous, virtual space. That would be very handy. So we just basically had what looks like an array of page table entries, right? So page table entry for the first virtual page number for the second, the third, all the way down to the last. That would be handy. But it turns out this idea of mapping is something that page directories and page tables are made for. And so with a kind of a one little trick we, we can do, we can easily get these page tables in consecutive order and have access to those. So here's how we're going to make this work. We basically take advantage of the fact of exactly how the page table page directories work. So right, what happens is, what the hardware effectively is doing is getting the uh, CR3 register Right, and that's the page directory. And then it's basically taking the page directory and adding four times the page directory index of the address you're specifying, and then indirecting through there, ignoring the bottom 12 bits, right? Setting those all to zero. And then that gives us the page table, and then it does the same thing with the page table. Adds four times the page table index, indirects through there, that gives us the page, right? And then we, we, we add in the offset from there, or in the offset. Well, what we're going to take advantage of is we are going to set in our page directory one particular entry. And that particular entry is going to point back to the page directory itself. So let's kind of look and see what that means. Let's say that this index in here is uh, 3BD, OK? So this is going to be an index. So let's look at an address that is of the form 3BD and 0 and I. All right. And let's kind of just look at what would happen if we use this. Okay. So let's say we've got this set up like this. And we know that CR3 is the address consisting of a page directory index of 3BD, the page table index of 0, and an offset of 0. Okay, So that is what the CR3 consists of. The 3BD element in here has a page table entry that consists of ox3bd and some zeros and some flags. 10 bits of ox3bd, 10 bits of zero, that's the 20-bit page number, which again is the same as this page number. So that's how we're getting this loop back. So when we try and access an address, a virtual address, so this is a virtual address, this is a physical address, this is physical page number. We try and do this, what's going to happen? We go to the page directory. We go then to the 3BD entry in the page directory, and we will go get its physical page number. 
Now we go from the page directory to the page table. This tells us where the page table is. Where does this tell us it is? It tells us we're right back here. Now we're viewing this same structure as a page table and not as a page directory. However, the hardware just kind of goes along with it. It's just reading this and reads what? It reads the zeroth entry in this table. So the zeroth entry in this table is this one. And so it indirects to get us to this page. That is our page. And we are at the ith offset then in this page. So that means OX3BD 0, 0. This is the first page table entry. If you use an uh, offset of 4, that's the second page table entry. And if we go all the way to 4092, that will be the 1024th page entry. Now the question is, what's the 1025th page table entry? Well, let's look. So let's look at what happens if we now provide a page table index of 1 instead of 0. So again, we'll go to X3B, we'll go to the page directory, we'll go to the 3 OX, these are all 3BDs, of course. So we'll go to the ox 3 bd entry. That will say the physical page number of the page table is ox 3 bd with 10 zeros after it, 10 bits of zeros. So that'll take us to here. And we'll now say that the index is 1 instead of 0. So we'll go to index number 1 in this page table, because as far as the hardware is concerned, it's a page table. What we're lucky about is the fact that the bits that we care about are the same, like the present bit and the writable bit and the user bit and so on. And so now we will go to this guy. So this will be our second page table. And we will now look at offset zero. So this will be the 1025th page table entry and so on. So this will go all the way down and give us all of our page tables. So what happens at OX3BD for the page directory index, OX3BD for the page table index, and then some offset? So we go here, we go to the 3BD entry in here in the page directory, and that takes us back to this page table. And now we go to the 3BD entry again in this page table, and that'll give us a page table entry with the same value, and that'll take us back to here. So this part is actually the page directory. So we have a virtual address for the page directory, and we have a virtual address for all of the page tables contiguously. And in fact, what we'll see in JOS is that we have a pointer, which is the array of page table entries. And we can just index them. So UB, UPVT at 0 is this address, which is the first PTE. UPVT at 1 is this address, which is the second PTE. And we just go all the way down. If we pick the right index, then we'll get the page directory, and we just get every possible value. So this is a handy way that JOS sets, sets things up so that we have the page tables all in unique order. And what had to happen? Well, what was important is that the physical address of the page directory had to make sure to have zeros in the, we, we already know it has to have zeros in the offset because it starts on a page. We also have zeros in the page table index.